Well, it says that you are busy. Hold on. It may be one of those houses. If it is, uh, throw a TFC in Pebbles' face. Ah, uh, okay. It could be just one of those derpy houses. All right, let's, let's hope see. it's not. I think it is. Oh, rip. Um, <laughs> I will DM pebble, people. Pebble, 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 pebble. Let me find him somewhere. Oh, do you have him added? No, I don't have him added. All right. I don't I think I do. What is his character's name? Uh, it is Thomas Star or something. Oh, I got him added. All right, nice, nice. I forget people's wizards. <laughs> Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, this is so exciting. I love watching fire do PvP. If there's like two schools that if I could just magically make max characters for, it would be Myth and Fire. Indeed. Uh, hashtag um, hashtag uh, max level minus 10 elixir. Wink, wink, nuts, nuts. We need one of those. <laughs> Trust me, we need one of those. I like can really imagine, don't. though, like, you just, you know, you, you, you make it a character, and you're like, hi, I'm 120 now. That's what we need. Oh, PvP dude, ults, would, that's what I we need in our, in our lives. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you know, we would, we would buy tons. I was going to say, I don't want to seem like I'm extreme or anything, but name the price. I'll do it. Well, a lot of other games have level boosts like that, too. Like, we only have a level 50 boost, but it's like, well, what about a max level minus 10 boost, right? I think even Why a not? level 100 boost would be okay. I'm going you know? this on the logic of other games. Like other games have that. Like it's a very common feature, especially if there's a lot of levels. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like Wizards should do that. And they'll get a lot of sales from that too, because of just how useful it is, especially since they're adding more and more character slots. I would definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that definitely is something that is worthwhile. Like. You know, they made it like 60 bucks, but you know, it's like, well, you're saving a lot of time. Like, you know, you know, let's just say like someone takes, you know, maybe six months to like level. Let's just say they're really slow, like they're a couch. Like, you know, that could be a lot of money or a lot of saving. Or like, let's just say your time is worth that much, right? So you can just get up and do PPP if you're in one of those people or or want to do have another class at max. You know, it is a very valuable sort of, you know, option. But, um, you know, we're, let's just talk about the match. Though. Like, you know, that's a good idea. You know, hashtag make it happen. But uh, stuff's happening here now. This is definitely going to be interesting. The reason that I say that is because the balance is first. And anytime a balance is first, it seems like their strategy just changes a little bit. You know, they seem to be a little bit more cautious i guess is a way of saying it normally they wait for their opponent to do something before they actually do something first you hardly ever see a balance doing something without there being some sort of response to it so this is our match where they have to use one of every school right Yes, and the spell has to be at least two pips or greater. Okay. Which is why there's a rule where you can only use one to spell. As imagine, like we had in testings, like, wait, can't you just use the spells and, like, conquer the world? And I'm like, well, I mean, that is a valid answer, though. I was going to say, especially with Alex here, you know, being a balance when you can run the spirit and elemental diffusers. Well, those would only count. Well, that'd be a little. Yeah, I think those crazy. only count as one. <laughs> I forgot if right. we formally banned them or not. Um, yeah, probably does, because it's like you don't, you have to cast spells that are two pip or greater, and like, it counts in that way. Insert someone uh, does that, and then it's like emergency ref decision. But I'm pretty sure that's the that's the ruin that we did a while ago. Uh, game mode's um, been out for a while, like um, so. Like I, I forget the exact discussion since it's been a while since I've you know paid attention to that. Since you know it's interesting, game mm -hmm. you know, it's interesting to see how it gets developed. That actually makes those shields that Alex put up pretty viable. I mean, 
doesn't sound like a big deal, but when we're talking about a zero pip gain to keep your opponent from doing any sort of damage, I mean, that's pretty, it's pretty useful. So the interesting thing that I have, I haven't actually seen anybody play this mode. So this is kind of my question at hand. Is it easier to get your opponent's health down and then use every school? Or is it easier to get all the schools out of the way and then just start attacking? Uh, most of the time, the strategy involves you do, uh, getting most of the schools just out of the way to make it easier to do your uh, win condition. But it depends, though. Like, if, let's just say, the spell made, uh, you know, it makes more sense to put some of the spells as you set up for the kill or as you do your crowd control. It really depends on the school you are and what you do decide to use as your six alternate spells, though. As there are a lot of options available. That is true. Well, and a lot of weird TC, so like definitely a lot of cool stuff that can happen in this match that will be seen very soon. I think so naturally I would get the, yeah. uh, like the uh, support schools like Life. I used to try to get them out of the way and just kind of work my way up to the higher damaging spells. Uh, but that's just... Yeah, of course. So here's the first one that I've noticed so far. We've got a ghoul coming out. I don't know that it would be beneficial to Alex, but maybe put in a, a wraith and have blaze and trap set up. That could do some decent damage and bring health back. That would be a pretty good move, for sure. With her being a balance wizard, she kind of she kind of has the opportunity to really explore the other schools a bit better than Edward does, with him just being a fire wizard. Definitely, especially considering the fact that Alex can use all the blades, you know, spirit blades, elemental blades, already available for being trained for free plus all the spirit traps i mean there's there's pretty good potential i mean really but so far what we've seen is it's mostly been reliant on their current school spells which isn't a big deal but it just means that eventually we're gonna have to see something come out of both of them I know for sure that Edward has used at least one outside of his typical array of spells. So... It'll be interesting. So what would happen if uh, they killed each other without using all the spells? I'm like pretty sure that would be a redo. Yeah. But... I, I forget if, um, so we have a predetermined penalties thing. I'm unsure if that or in, in some of the other sections, if we have what happens if there's a complete tie. I'm pretty sure it's a rematch, but that's a my question, though. He's in all spells. Hypu, hypu. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Mike.
Got a lightning bats coming out. So that's another one for Alex. So it looks like we're kind of keeping it even here with both of them. Indeed. Uh, by the way, I have got an update from the from uh, one of the organizers, Mike. He says it would be a redo if somehow like they kill each other before like getting the conditions. So at the same time, but like it's very rare though for uh, for a match to end as a tie though, because that's the problem. Like if it's a tie, because if let's just say like like if it's not a tie, then if you kill before the condition, you lose. So apparently he has used Ice Serpent, Fire Elf, and Storm Bats, according to Alex in the Twitch chat. All right. You know, you know, from the man in battle himself, he is giving us information from the highest order. Well, just himself, but hey, it's cool. Alex really does have the advantage of being able to use all the different other schools to his advantage more so than Edward can with him just being a firework. For sure. For sure. Now here comes the ultimate question for Edward. What I would be concerned about if I was Edward is the fact that we've got a full set of pips so if I was him I'd be trying to get rid of some of those on the spells that he's required to use because otherwise if he uses anything for utility like if he puts down a shield if he blades he's wasting out on pip opportunity that he could be using so like for example right now he won't be able to use some of his pips and that could make a difference later on I mean Considering that you have to use at least two pips on these other spells, I mean... Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty much wasting opportunity. Being able to conserve your pips is a really big deal in a game mode like this. It, it certainly could come down to the fact of getting a power pip or not having enough pips to do something being the reason that you don't win. I mean, I mean like, like look at this for example, we've got an E-Freak coming out, which is an awesome move, but was it the best move considering how many new pips he has that he still got to get rid of? Perhaps he might have saw this as his best opportunity to attack since Alex didn't have any fire shields so he wanted to get a big hit out of the way and then use the smaller schools and then maybe save up for one final hit that he could really use to knock out Alex. That is true. So it just kind of depends on the strat here. But Alex did make a really good call on the healing, and that's going to bring back a lot of his health. And now we've got the troll coming out from Edward. For not having any damage, that did quite a bit. I mean, that was 160. It's a pretty decent amount of damage for a spell that's not in your regular use of spells. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Looks like that was an attempt to probably get off a of lightning bats, but it fizzled, which is a little unfortunate. Something that would be probably really good as a strategy, I mean, if I was playing in this tournament and I was either first or second, what I would probably do is I would build up the pips, put an infowl on, and I would just start shredding through all the two pip spells. Get them out of the way, prevent yourself from fizzling, be as efficient as possible, and then move on. Edward may have to rethink his strategy here since Alex was able to heal back. Um, the E-Free did do a lot of damage, and I think he was kind of trying to rely on doing one major hit and then doing the rest of the hits he needs and then focus on a final hit. Mm -hmm. But with Alex's health back, he really needs to uh, reconsider how to really conserve his pips and stay alive while doing it. 
Well, and I think this menu provides a lot of opportunities too. I mean, for Alex's perspective, this gives him something to attack with the two pip spells. It doesn't seem like it's, you know, a major waste. And that's exactly what he's going to do right here. He's going to start hitting with those two pip spells that he has to get out of the way on the minion. And here comes the infall. We got some nice set shields coming up onto the uh, minion. <laughs> it's, it's always weird whenever your minion puts on set shields. It's kind of like, okay. <laughs> I remember the storm elemental used to be really bad and they had the really oh gosh. mechanics. Yeah. And we're looking from Alex, he's used four school spells outside of him, so he's kind of almost to the point of where he can really just focus on doing a major hit to finish off Edward. That is true. He's gonna get a nice hit off on the elemental, or on the fire elemental, which is good for him. Gets the bending out before the mini can really do any damage. I mean, the fire elementals are actually kind of good. I mean, not only can they heal back with Sprite, they can cast smoke, they can put on fire shields, they can put on set shields, which covers all of the elementals. And then I haven't, I don't, do they blade? I'm pretty sure they blade too. Uh, I know the Storm Elemental one does now. I don't know about the fire. So, it's a lot of good potential in some of these minions. So it's probably a good thing for Alex to get it out of the way. So Alex said he's used more than four different school spells, so he's really kind of getting the time advantage on Edward. And, it's, and it appears that Alex only needs one more, aside from um, the ones that he's used, to be completely done with every school. So he's going to take a second, get his health back all the way up, dig for that last and final spell that he needs, and then he's going to go for it. This is an interesting move from Edward. This was uh, <laughs> something that I thought about earlier and I was going to mention that it would be really interesting if somebody used all of their school types on minions and brought in different kind of minions that were different schools. So this is kind of uh, this is kind of interesting. I like this. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but I, uh, I appreciate the effort here to uh, do something different. I like that idea, because with Alex putting up shields for each school, uh, really, he wouldn't know if Edward was going to be doing hits or be doing minions, because minions can benefit Edward in more ways than just one, and maybe more reliable than just trying to focus on hitting. For sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Ice Guardian is uh, helping Edward out in a way that you would never imagine, and that is getting a blade that you don't need, but... Uh, <laughs> Could not imagine, but I definitely, I definitely like it. I can not guarantee a win with that kind of strategy, but I tip my hat to you, good sir. Uh, this is a really good match. I really like how the balance matches go because the balance is just so unpredictable and so many different things they can do. It really. Uh, kind of makes their opponent think a little bit differently outside. I would agree. Balance is seriously a responsive school. Ooh, we got a bolt coming out. Unfortunately, it's going to hit low. <laughs> but it uh, would have been quite the interesting, you know, little spice to the recipe here that we've got going on. So I wonder if Alex is going to take the time to get rid of this minion. I mean, in a way it's helping Edward, but in another way it's not. Because it's not a minion that would take off shields that pertain to Edward. You know what I mean? So it'll be interesting yeah. to see if he even spends the time and effort to get rid of that minion. Because aside from actually completing the challenge for the rules, there really is no uh, big threat coming from the minion on Alex. Exactly, but it could take off tower shields, which of course doesn't help when it comes to sets, but 
it might limit Alex as to what he could do if he continues to leave it alive. So. And then looking at Alex having max health, basically, it's uh, uh, it's kind of challenging for Edward. I mean, he's back at max health as well, but just with the amount of competition, uh, based on the way things are going, it looks like Alex is probably going to complete this challenge first and then really start doing some major damage to Edward. And with Alex seriously lighting up, he can, he's really preparing for what can be coming towards Edward. And what's something to consider too is that Alex is still waiting on that one spell that he needs to find before he can start attacking, right? I don't think he's used the troll. It's definitely interesting. I think Edward really uh, got put behind after he was not being able to efficiently use all those pips at the beginning. And I think it's coming back to honestly get him with Alex um, having near max pips. He's really, uh, Edward's not really doing as good as he could have been earlier. Look at this move. Instead of using an attack, he uses shatter. That is a nice play on Alex. I didn't think about that. That is such a good play for Alex to do. Using a utility spell, that is such a good idea. And now, Edward is completely open. And look at the blades that Alex has right now. I don't know, it's not looking as good for Edward. He can try to do something to pull it off, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know. He might have some Three more minions he can use. That's uh, it. Wow. That was a very good match. All right. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay. Good, good game. Good game to Alex, though. Alex uh, put it off really good. Definitely it was a fun fight. Max health as well. Yeah, didn't didn't last forever, but hey, you know the, these matches here are uh, at least with these game modes are just a bit faster.